Hello, we are now in the last unit of week three, and that is unit five. In this unit, we're going to be looking at searching for OER that match the plan. We have a plan already. How do you now search for OER that will match the plan? That is what we're going to look at. In searching for OER to meet the table of specification, there are five steps you need to take. Step one, identify the stated learning outcome. Step two, identify the stated learning activity. And step three, identify the stated pedagogy. And step four, identify the key content. Because all these are required to ensure that the results you want to look for will meet each and every one of them. And it is the key content which you have identified that you will now take up online to search for the right open educational resource. And when you found any ed open educational resource, you must reconcile it with step one to three to ensure that it meets with the learning outcome, meet with the it, uh, stated learning activities, and it meets with the pedagogy. Anyone that do not meet in line with this cannot be used. What do you do? You drop it and search for another. You may also need an OER for assessment, where this is required, you must use the learning outcome and the stated assessment types and method to search for the relevant OER. You look at the structure and conceptualize where need be. Select appropriate creative common license that we enable you conceptualize. On table of specification, just state the content and type of OER you may need under the learning resources. For instance, the, let's look at the learning outcome. Said, explain the features and scope of open and distance learning. This is the stated learning outcome. And what is the required activities? Say so learners are to visit the website of two open and distance learning institutions and identify their features and scope. Now, the key content from here Looking at what has been stated here, we are looking at features and scope of open and distance learning, because this is what we are deriving from the learning activities, and it means with the learning outcome. Now, what will be the OER required? The OER required may be scenarios on the features and scope of open and distance learning. You can equally create, but this one meets with the activity, because the activity is that you want them to go through the site, and search for two open and distance learning institutions and identify their scope. So if we have a scenario, the scenario will equally link to a thing like this. So if they have that, it could help them know how to do this search and how they will be able to uh, define these features and the scope. So this is where we really need to do when we are still on the table of specification. You don't need to go in depth writing what you want to write it is a uh, writers that will take care of that it is at this point of writing that the writers will do the search knowing the right repository to search and the required license could ease the search time and this is where the writer have to now do the work so the work of the developer will stop from here it will stop here so for the developer, you're going to have your work stop here. The developer is doing all this, all these stops here. Now the writer will take over from here and complete this because you have given this to the writer. The writer now works on this. And like I said, it's not cast on stone. Where there is a need, we can make some adjustments. Now in summary, search for OER based on what you have identified on the table of specification. Any OER that do not meet the need on the table of specification should not be used in the content creation. With this, I say thank you for listening.